Hi, and welcome to another webinar in the VersaPass Best Practice Series. Today we will be discussing how to optimize PrintHead Live through print content and usage. My name is Evelyn, and I'm one of the application engineers here at MemGen. You've been able to watch the other best practice series on optimizing print quality and print headline, as well as addressing common print quality issues. Those webinars should have your print head and your printing system running in optimal condition. Today we're going to talk about image content and nozzle utilization. These are by far the largest variables that affect print headline. My goal is to provide you with an understanding of the relationship between image content and nozzle utilization and how these can impact your print head life, as well to provide you with some techniques that can be applied towards optimizing your content and nozzle utilization to get the most out of your print heads. Let's get started. I'm going to use an analogy, and this is one I think everybody can relate to, uneven tire wear out on our vehicles. I came across this really nifty chart that shows the various different ways a tire can wear unevenly. And I've experienced several of these problems on my own vehicle. Ultimately, I've had to replace tires sooner than the expected life, and it cost me a bundle. Over time, I've learned a few techniques to avoid uneven wear out and get longer life out of my tires. Now, the same principle can be true of a page wide print head, uneven wear lends to early replacement. Today, I'd like to pro provide you with some techniques to combat uneven wear so you can get the most out of your print head. Printing with a page wide print head has the advantage of speed and resolution. The print head is fixed and the paper moves under it. So not all the nozzles will see the same number of ejections. Nozzles where there is no content see little usage, while the nozzles where content is present will be exercised more frequently. This can result in uneven wear across the print head. And with this knowledge, we can use print image content actually as a tool to maximize your print head life. I'm going to introduce you to six different techniques that will aid you in evening out your nozzle usage and optimizing the life of your print head. These techniques include image layout configuration, image rotation, image shifting, page orientation, job interleaving, and nozzle smoothing. Now, not every technique will be applicable to every print job or every application, but once you understand the fundamentals, you can strategize during job layout and job costing to maximize your print head life. These techniques will save you time by reducing your intervention rate and money by realizing more life from your print head. Technique number one, image layout configuration. Partial width printing is very common in label applications and is one, of, one example of how uneven print head wear occurs. In this example, we have a four inch label. It uses just about half the width of the print head. The print head is discarded with almost half its nozzle still able to perform well. By changing the layout configuration, by using content size to the width of the print head, we can yield more ink usage or impressions per print head. Technique number two, image rotation. Another strategy to utilize more of the print head width is image rotation. In this example, rotating a label from four by six orientation to six by four orientation will yield more impressions per print head by utilizing about 25% more of the print head. Technique number three, shifting the image position. For images that are half the width of the print head or less, physically shifting the image over time can take advantage of the full width of the print head, yielding more ink usage and more impressions per print head. Now these first three techniques focus on the physical placement of image to take advantage of the page wide print head. The next three techniques I'm gonna share with you focus on print content and methods to distribute nozzle utilization more evenly. First, let's go over some of the attributes that are known to prematurely exhaust print heads and how we might mitigate these effects. Print head life is determined by the nozzles that fire the most often. But did you know there's also some particular image attributes that require more nozzle firings than others? 
These attributes can cause uneven wear on the print head. And some examples of these are repeat content, which is printed only on a portion of the print head width, partial width printing. And we've seen some examples of that. Repetitive vertical elements, elements, page or image borders, table borders, barcodes, logos, addresses. Those are only some examples. And also repetitive left justified text. Usually these are small features, but they disproportionately contribute to the print head wear out. They have the effect similar to partial width printing by repetitively using a small number of nozzles. Let's look at some actual examples. The envelopes have both vertical and graphical elements and repetitive text addressing in the same place on each print. This type of image is a great candidate for the image shifting technique number three. Next, we have a product label with the vertical bands of color, as well as the repetitive logo, barcode, and text. This image is a good candidate for technique number two, rotating the image for both the size and for more even nozzle utilization. Another product label, again, repetitive logo, barcode, text, and color band. Even though this one is a four by four label, nozzle utilization will improve if the image is rotated. Letters, brochures, and other mailings that utilize left justified text and vertical elements. Let's go over some further techniques that go beyond image placement. Now that we've identified some features that are known to cause uneven wear out to our print heads, let's focus on how we can mitigate this type of wear with content and usage. MailJet took a simple ESO test page and converted the image into a nozzle usage graph. This graph demonstrates the frequency each nozzle fires to print this particular image. Here we can see on the left side of the graph shows high nozzle usage, and this aligns with the repetitive vertical elements and the left justified text. These vertical elements are using a small number of nozzles that are fired more frequently than the rest of the page. And this results in uneven wear to the print head, similar to that which we see with partial width printing. Our engineers came up with a mathematical formula to describe this graph, and it's called peak to average ratio. Looking at the black firing zone, the peak value is approximately 1750, circled in red. This means that a particular single nozzle is fired 1,750 times as part of the creation of the page content. The average value, though, of black firings is approximately 330, and this is represented by the red line across the graph. This represents the average number of firing across all black nozzles when printing this page. We then divide the peak by the average nozzle usage, and we come up with a ratio. In this case, 5.3 to 1. As a rule of thumb, the lower the peak to average ratio, the longer the print head lasts. What they discovered through testing were various techniques to drive this ratio lower. This brings us to technique number four, page orientation. So normally you print all pages in the same orientation. This case study looks at the ESO test document and how a combined normal and rotated page orientation would change the new nozzle utilization. By simply rotating every other page, nozzle utilization has a lower peak to average ratio. The nozzle usage is more even across the print head and we've lowered the peak to average from 5.3 to 3.1. Note that to use this technique, you don't have to print consecutively one page up, one page down. A print scenario in which a thousand pages are printed upright followed by a thousand pages printed upside down would work equally as well. And in this particular case, you got about 70% more impressions per print. Technique number five, interleaving jobs. Interleaving jobs means splitting large jobs into smaller batches and running them. For example, if you have, say, three 30,000 copy jobs 
of three different images. Job A is 30,000 copies, job B is 30,000 copies, and job C. To interleave these, we would cut them down to say 10,000 copies, job A, then job B, then job C, and rotate them around and so on. As a case study, these ESO pages were run as single page jobs. The output for print head per million of ejections is shown in this graph. Each image was run as a single continuous job, and we can see that image three did better than the other images, achieving a higher number of ejections. But look what happens on the second graph when we start to interleave the jobs. This demonstrates these same pages run as interleave jobs. Notice that the largest ejection count per print head follows the most variation in job interleaving, where all four images are run as interleave jobs. Technique number six, nozzle smoothing. In this case study, nozzle smoothing has reduced the peak to average ratio from 5.3 to 4.5. And this gives us about an 18% improvement in print head ejection line. Nozzle smoothing shifts the margin of an image one sixteen hundredth of an inch increment for about 64 steps and steps back to the original position. This technique creates some wander to the margin of the image. And in this case study, the maximum incremental shift of 64 steps was used. This equates to a wander of about one millimeter. So to utilize this technique requires some tolerance in the application for margin wander. This is the software feature available in the VersaPass platform. So contact your technical support to determine if this technique will benefit your application. I want to wrap up today by giving you this toolbox list to optimize your print head. These tools are embedded throughout the VersaPass best practice series. So first, Here's authentic Memjet inks. These inks are designed and tested to meet the lifetime spec of the Memjet application. Use Memjet best practices to ensure optimal print quality. Don't skip on regular maintenance intervals. Nozzle health directly impacts print head performance, print quality, and print head life. Control your environment. Keep the temperature and humidity of the printing system within the specified range. Minimize exposure to paper dust and external debris. Replace the MFR as recommended. And now, another tool. Use the techniques for increasing the variation of print content to optimize your print headline. Thank you.